Today I'm going to teach you a strategy called Count Back by Tens to help you have success in solving some of your math problems such as this one. So let's start with the hundreds chart first. This is a strategy for success because it allows you to find an easy way to count backwards simply by using your hundreds chart. So for example, if I start at the number 65 and I want to count back by tens, all I do is go up on the hundreds chart. If I want to count back by tens from 78, I go up on the hundreds chart. If I want to count backwards by tens from 100, I go up on the hundreds chart. If I want to count back by ones, instead of going up, I simply go to the left and I count backwards the amount of spaces for the ones. So how is that going to help me solve a problem like this? Well, if we look, this is 65 minus 34. This might be a problem like uh, Mrs. Phillips has 65 cookies and somebody eats 34. How many cookies does she have left? So we know I'm going to start with 65. So what I do is I find the 65 on my hundreds chart, which is where my finger is, and I'm going to circle that. And then I'm going to back up 34 spaces. But if I put the number 34 on a TNO chart for just a moment and look at it, I can tell that there are three tens and four ones which means it's going to be three numbers up and then four numbers to the left. So let's try this. Let's take 65. Let's back up our tens first, three tens. So I'll go 65, 55, 45, 35. Now I'm going to back up my ones. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I've gone from 35 to 34 to 33 to 32 to 31. So my answer is 31. And this works for any number on your hundreds chart. Simply locate the number, like 65, back up the correct number of tens, then back up the correct number of ones. And this is a great strategy for you all to use when solving these big double-digit subtraction problems. Good luck.